Hello, this is Ben with Help and Services for Youth and Families, and today on the Get to Know Us series, we have Shelby, a part of our family education and support team. Welcome, Shelby. Hi, Ben. Wow. Well, if you could just uh, start out by uh, introducing yourself a little bit, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, well, like I said, um, my name's Shelby. Um, I'm from La Crosse, Wisconsin, originally. Um, go Packers. <laughs> and... Uh, I went to school at Luther for college and studied social work there. So nice. Wonderful, wonderful. What, 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 can you talk a little bit about your role at Helping Services? Yeah, um, so I'm a part of the family education support team. So I work with families who are prenatal, so pregnant all the way up to three years old. And we focus on child development and milestones and just general parent support. Okay. So we work with all families regardless of income or status. So, and we serve everyone in the Hawk County. So Howard, Al McKee, Winnishik and Clayton counties. Okay. And then me specifically, I cover mostly Howard County and then some of Al McKee County. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. When, you know, if, if people just, you know, just had a kid and a new parents, what's the best way for them to kind of, seek out you or, or one of your colleagues' uh, services? Right, um, so, I mean, they can reach out to me directly um, by my email, my phone, my cell phone, or even if they call the office. Um, some way we'll, they'll get you in touch with the right person to connect you to them. Um, typically, like, we do get referrals from the hospital or other organizations, but we have had, like, some parents just, like, self-refer themselves, and that's good, too. Yeah, and I, I know you guys spend a fair bit of time making those connections at hospitals and, and you know, being there to, to meet the parents. So it's, uh, it's credit. It's, you do a lot of groundwork to, to make, make those connections. And I think it's, uh, you know, as new parents go, go in, uh, you don't know everything, and that's okay. You know, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's good. Well, good. Well, and as Shelby said, you can visit our, our website at helpingservices.org and all of our contact information. And if you don't know who to contact, you just email info at helpingservices.org mm -hmm. and will find the right place. So how did you f find your way into this, this type of work? Um, so like I said, like I studied social work and so like I always, and even since I was like, I wanna say eight, I knew I kinda wanted to go into the helping profession. Um, it started ever since um, my parents adopted my nephew. So that was kinda my, my first introduction to social work in general. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was studying um, social work at Luther, um, I ha we had to do a practicum, so like a semester-long internship, and that happened to be at Helping Services. So I actually mm -hmm. started at Helping Services in spring of 2016 as an intern um, with the family education program and kind of got to observe yeah. the family educators and all the activities that they do on home visits. And then I took a little bit of a break. Well, not really a break. Uh, after college, I did an AmeriCorps term with food and fitness, and then I ended up interviewing for the position at Helping Services, not maybe even a year after that. That's wonderful. It's, wonderful. it's, a, it's amazing how many of our uh, staff have either spent a year on a different, on a certain grant or had an internship, mm -hmm. and then have kind of came full circle back uh, and are now working here full time. So yeah. that's wonderful. You're, you're not alone in, the, in that one, I guess. It's uh, <laughs> Yeah, but that that's good. Well, what's one thing you'd you'd like people to know about uh, your work or uh, or family education support as a whole? Yeah. Um. So, our services are not just for typically like people would think like low income families or families that are high needs. We'll serve anybody because all parents, you know, have questions at some point. They are unsure of what to do or just looking for some support, and that's what we're here for, to support them, support their child, and making sure that they're developing um, for their age range. And so if you're like nervous about doing a home visit, I encourage you just to reach out, try one, and see what it's like. Um, the commitment is pretty minimal. It's just two visits a month. And so right now we're doing over the phone and video due to COVID, but we can still offer that support to anyone that needs it. Yeah, that's wonderful. And your, your entire team has done a phenomenal job at creating videos, you know, things you probably do hands-on with, with, with mm -hmm. parents and, and the kids, with your parents' as teachers program. But it's, uh, 
trying to translate that to video. You guys have done a really good job, and you know, all those are on our, our YouTube page, but mm -hmm. you also find on our website. So that's, uh, I'm sure it was hard to take what you do in person and do it in video without any response for, from the, the child or parent. Yeah, it's definitely more rewarding, like when you get to be in the home and see the kids achieve something for the first time, or like even when you're in a visit, like they've taken their first steps sometimes, mm -hmm. which is incredible to see. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I can only imagine how, I mean, and you also get to see the parents' reaction, which I'm sure they're just, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, that that makes it all worth it, you know, yeah. with, with everything, so. Well, do you have a success story that kind of, uh, that you've seen in the last, you know, six months, a year that kind of stands out to you that you'd be willing to share with us? Sure. Um, so something else that I do at Helping Services in addition to home visits is I have taught some parenting classes, and so um, one of the ones that I do called Nurture at Heart, I hosted in person before this um, COVID stuff, and I actually had um, one parent reach out to me, you know, right when the pandemic was starting, um, saying that the Nurtured Heart class that she took really helped her and her family, that her son is able to self-regulate his behavior, mm -hmm. and that, you know, now that she's really looking forward to this time that they were spending as a family together, and she wasn't really sure if that would be something that she would have had before. And then also I ran into someone when I was out about in town too that took one of my classes and she said that, you know, now more than ever, this has been really helpful for her and her family. Yeah. Well, wonderful. You know, that's when those people reach out, you know, and I guess you had two instances, but there's probably many others that didn't make that step to, to reach out. So that, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you, I know you and others in the family education support do a number of different courses or events and things like that. And you can find mm -hmm. those on our Facebook page and those are always constantly changing as you go out throughout the year. And obviously with COVID, a lot of that has, uh, has changed uh, and mm -hmm. what, what those look like, but I'm sure, you know, we're constantly figuring those things out. So, well, wonderful. Well, well, thanks so much for being with us, uh, Shelby. And uh, you know, as, as Shelby has mentioned, and we've said, visit our website at helpingservices.org. You can find all the information you need um, on there. Keep an eye on our Facebook page for different, you can, we post the videos and have different updates there. So, uh, well, thanks so much for your time, Shelby. Yeah, thanks, Ben. All right, take care. Thanks, you too.